Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video we are going to continue with the Tetris game. Basically we are going to do the clean of the field rows and also we are going to uh, start working on in the score points. So let's do that. Uh, basically first of all I wanted to delete this here and also this rect which is a uh, drawing the empty box in order to make it simpler so now it's going to work like that so I think it's better now and uh, so something we should do is to clean the field rows when for example when all the Tetris pieces are in in the same row for example when a row is filled with full Tetris pieces we should delete that filled row well not delete it but clean it so let's do that uh, first of all we need a function in our platform that does the, the cleaning of the filled rows let's call clean filled rows and Let's make a can be first of all we should have something in order to get how many boxes we we have right now so this that count boxes and let's let's do a count boxes function And let's do this. We need the pieces in the platform which are different from null. So let's use a reduce function and let's make this is our element and this is our row. Sorry, the C is our accumulator. So we use lambda function and let's say that our accumulator is going to increment when we find for each row the element which are different from null element different from null and that's gonna give us uh, an array with all the boxes which are different from null and we need to start our accumulator into zero so this function is going to give us all the not empty boxes that we have in our platform then we should do the cleaning of the field rows so let's do a platform and for each For each row that we have, we want the index. And here we will need a big if. So we are going to say that if mm, can be row that every. box is different from null in that row when we have uh, all our boxes with an actual box of any piece it can be any shape of piece we need to do the cleaning for that row so we're going to take the row and again for each for each space in that row we need to get the element and the J index and do the cleaning so we are going to do this that platform and with index i and index j 
we need to make that null so that space is going to be uh, empty I think I have an error here let's see it's an error for each okay I'm seeing what's the problem is I need more extra parentheses here and also here okay so we are cleaning all the rows and right now we can well I think we don't need this right now so let's see how this works I'm going to stop the video in order to uh, make a test case for this because it's a uh, is a, a long test case because I have to fill the row and then I'm going to restart the video. So now as you can see here I'm going to put this piece and the uh, filled row is clean. So this is working great. Um, I forgot to tell you that we needed to in our function apply gravity we need to make the platform ask the platform to clean the filled rows each time we uh, put a piece inside uh, inside our platform so yeah basically we need that and something that we are going to do now is the score of the game that's why we needed the pre boxes so let's do this now and basically I think we need it more after cleaning the rows so we put this here and what we should do is to say something well no I think I have another idea let's do a pre boxes before we put the piece sorry before before we clean the field rows and let's make a post boxes and let's say this we need our pre boxes if it's different from post boxes we need to increment our scoring with and with the difference between the boxes that we had before and what we have now if not we are going to have let's see how can we do this yeah we can have our points as usual So let's do this here and also obviously we need to create what is points right so we are going to manage the points in the sketch function so let's do here a uh, points and when we are doing the setup we need to do points equal to zero and also something that we can do is to draw each time that we draw our our canvas we need to draw the points that we have that we have and let's make a draw test draw text function draw text is equal it receives points and it's a lambda expression so we have our lambda expression and let's use text size which is a function from p5.js and we can use also the text align in order to put it in the right corner so let's use right let's make it wide because the canvas is the canvas is black and let's put the text so we're going to say please draw text uh, our points in our canvas width width can be our box dimension let's see how this is going to work let's see so basically let's see how this is 
how is this going to work? Okay, here we see a zero. I'm going to sub the video and see when we fill rows is going to uh, to work. Well, I just clean a row and now the score is 20, so this is working. So basically, we finished this game right now. It should be great if you guys want to, for example, change the color of all the pieces that they generate randomly, the colors, in order to have a better looking game. So that could be really cool. And so basically now it's working. And another thing we can another thing we can do is to, for example, when a piece collides with the top of the canvas, let's make the game to set up again, right? in order to start again and refresh the points but i think that's really easy and you can do it with all the tutorials that we have done in this channel so maybe you can try to do that also that functionality is working in the github repo so you can take a look at that so thanks for watching thanks for uh, stay with us in this tutorial and we hope to do a new tutorial again and please stay tuned to this channel and thanks for watching bye